I'm thinking football. The league, who won the win? Manchester City. The last day of the season. Mm -hmm. Phenomenal. And the, way, the way they won, not only the last day, the last few, the last five minutes. So that was a Kisnori victory. Do you like football, Jimmy? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're speed dating now. Um... <laughs> You don't like football? I don't, I don't really like football. You must okay. have liked that, though. You must have. You must have. You cannot have you, have watch you that and not get excited. Exactly. I burnt my house down. I'm not even a City fan. I just couldn't. I was so excited. I just Before I knew it, I was lighting a torch. And just, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. I mean, you know, well, a bit. I mean, it looked pretty good. It made it sweet because they beat Man U, didn't they, the last day. And I, and I understand their rivalry, you know, between the two teams, because I, I have a very similar rivalry with the girl band Little Mix. Because <laughs> they're, they're worried I'm going to take their title as a new pop sensation. And, uh, you know, sometimes it kicks off. We had a fight in the pub car park recently. <laughs> Four and one's not fair, they battered me. But... <laughs> do, do you like football? Do you were happy about Manchester City winning? Eh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not used to a woman talking to me. <laughs> I heard, that I heard stuff, but it didn't go in, sorry. Oh, OK. It's hot in here. <laughs> Is it the um, Bradley Wiggins? Oh. Bradley, Bradley Wiggins <laughs> from Yorkshire. He won the Tour de France. Like yeah, does, oh, he yeah. does sound... He, does, he lives in Yorkshire and he sounds like a real... Oh. Yorkshire name, isn't it? Bradley Wiggins. My favourite Yorkshire expression is tin tin tin, which means it isn't in the tin. <laughs> tin tin tin. No. <laughs> tin tin tin. It's not really a saying, something you might use as a proverb, isn't it? Like, you know, oh, grandma's fallen downstairs again. Ah, well, tin tin tin. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you've added a dance. This has got even better. <laughs> tin tin tin. If you had tin tin DVDs and they were in the tin, <laughs> Then you could say, where have you put DVDs? In Tin Tin Tin. <laughs> then you went to find it and it wasn't there. And you went, I went to Tin Tin Tin, but it didn't Tin Tin Tin. <laughs> okay, <laughs> do, <laughs> do we need to talk any about Bradley Wiggins anymore? I mean, I think we've covered it. He won the Tour de France. Incredible. This is an incredible achievement. Amazing. It's a Herculean task. The race is, it's got 20 stages. It's a total of uh, 3,497 kilometres. Mm. And he did, he did that in 87 hours and 34 minutes, which is, uh, which is like, way better than my personal best. <laughs> <laughs> if they just made it a bit more interesting, like, just close peg a playing card to the back wheel, so at least you can hear when they're going faster. <laughs> <laughs> or with stabilisers on. <laughs> or he does the whole tour with E.T. in a basket. <laughs> Did you watch it? I did, yeah. Actually, yeah. that was by far, in my opinion, the, the biggest sport moment of the year. And he got uh, Olympic goals as well. I mean, yeah, exactly. To add but the thing phenomenal. is, he, he did that like 10 days after winning the tour. Can you imagine sort of doing that and then going off and then doing it again in like 10 days' time? I can't imagine the first one, never mind. <laughs> the 10 days off is the only bit of that I can relate to. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> didn't he get run over as well, though, didn't he? After he won. Was it he him? Did, yeah, yeah, he was, he was yes, in a petrol think... station and someone, someone ploughed into him. The only thing I remember is the quote, because the woman who knocked him over said, of all the people to hit... <laughs> 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 so, she was going to go, why couldn't it have been a kid? <laughs> 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 Nancy, what, what did you make of Bradley Wiggins? Are you aware uh, of Bradley uh, Wiggins' work? Absolutely. I mean, it is uh, one of the greatest... What, what another greatest moment for Britain sport. Do you think he deserved the Sports Personality of the Year? Absolutely, yes. I think he was the only one who only won the Tour de France and everything, and then he won the Olympics, so absolutely, yes. He looks quite very cool. I mean, that's the other thing. He's not only sport personality, it's, uh, it's it, the way he looks. It's quite cool. Do you like facial hair? <laughs> <laughs> I've probably got twice as much as him. <laughs> well, that's why I do like you. Hey? <laughs> <laughs> Don't know what's happening. <laughs> okay, let's see if Bradley Wiggins is up there. <laughs> yes! The three week Tour de France is one of the world's most gruelling sporting events to watch. <laughs> okay, fingers on buzzers, one more thing to get. Must be the Paralympics, mm -hmm. which was a triumph of everyone. Because everyone said, well, the Olympics will be shit. And then the Olympics was amazing. They said, well, that'll be it now then. And then the Paralympics was amazing as well. 
everyone carried on loving sport. It was a phenomenal thing for Britain, wasn't it? Absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> Did you watch a lot of it? I watched a fair bit, yeah. I liked, uh, oh, well, I'll be honest. Yeah. My standout moment was Jodie Condy losing his sh <laughs> I did enjoy watching a man just absolutely do what everyone See, else I, would I, want I to do in sport. I think for me as well, I think it's the, I think it's the best is, moment. Uh, if that is honestly the biggest moment of your life and you have given up mm. everything for it for a few years and then somebody tells you no. And it actually wasn't his fault. It, something went wrong with what was gripping the, his back wheel and it didn't release him. So and his name sounds a bit like something you hear in a clinic. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see me next? I've got a bit of a Jodie Condy. I did like the, uh, the people in the wheelchairs. Uh... Oh, the, the, the werewolf was... Mm. I mean, he was yeah, incredible. Yeah. He's, like a, he's a monster with that thing. He got four goals. Yeah. The T54, 800, 1500 and 5000 and marathon. marathon yeah. Sounds greedy. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, Dog's Home named a dog after him, didn't he? I had one named after me as well, actually. A dog? I did, yeah. I, I tried to get it for me, because I wanted another dog, and then they gave it to somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it confuse you to have a dog with the same name as you? I'd probably... If you were yeah. in the park shouting your own name, you'd got a bit of a <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I call my dog? Attack. I go, Attack! <laughs> Attack! <laughs> what, Attack! <laughs> Attack! <laughs> really disconcerts everyone in the park. Best way to relax after a hard day's work. Two weeks off. <laughs> Best way to relax after a hard day's work is two weeks off. <laughs> what do you what do you think? Oh I like to relax by recreating the scene from Ghost with a potter's wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Where you're... Uh, well, cos I'd do it with my flatmate Mark cos he looks a bit like Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> <laughs> it's extraordinary. OK, so, Nancy, how do you relax of an evening after a hard day's work? Well, I will have a hot bath with um, a drink and then have a very deep tissue massage. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer yours. Well, definitely, you prefer mine. Who's the, who's the masseuse? Who's... Well, I don't have to tell on TV, but uh, I have a few. <laughs> oh, that kind of massage, I see. No. What sort of tissues do you use? Uh, deep tissues. <laughs> deep tissues. Deep tissues. <laughs> deep tissues. <laughs> Is your bath one of the ones that you get in the side and it fills up when you're in there? <laughs> I had a bath the other day where I had, with the technology, I have my iPad on the toilet with the lid down, obviously I'm not an idiot. <laughs> and you put a film on your iPad and I had cheese and biscuits and a glass of wine and it was it's one of the fantastic. happiest moments of my it's life. Then <laughs> I finished the cheese and biscuits and I thought, I'll just watch this downstairs on telly. 